right, so today's question is brought to us by Witty SSBU, and he says Lucas was DLC in Smash Four, having a trophy before that. Does that make Spring Girl having a spirit possible to be the Arms DLC fighter? And yeah, here we go. Well, I mean, Spring Girl is not really a character, but <laughs> an Arms character, yeah. Uh. We know we're getting an arms character, and it's really weird because a good amount of them are spirits, and one of them is actually an assist trophy, so let's just get this out of the way. Assist trophies, we both agree that they are deconfirmed, right? I mean, if you, yeah, if you look at it, I think it's more of they put so much effort into making an assist trophy because they have to actually model it and have it do a couple of the moves. That basically means that it's not... I, I highly doubt that they'd want to put in a character and have all that effort in the same game. I mean, they could be easily bring her into Smash 6, but that's not really the question here. So yeah. I'd, I'd say within the same game, it definitely deconfirms the character. I, I think so too. So I, Spring Man I, is not... I don't think Spring Man's going to be the one. Yeah, definitely. But that, not that this begs game, the question. He could, he could definitely show up next game. He could have the, the double arms rep, even though arms is a... A more niche series in my opinion i mean i'm sure it has some i players, agree but... i mean no it, i mean yeah it does but it's very i think they just did it for the quick advertisement to see if they can revive the game but we'll see if that'll actually happen maybe there will even be a sequel who knows anyways <laughs> back yeah. to the topic but uh i think the uh the main thing with the the can't think right now. I think the main thing with spirits is though that spirits are just a, like a PNG really. It's not like they've put in time into making them too much. Well they definitely put in time obviously but it's more just a stat like not a not an actual thing. So I don't in, in my opinion I don't think a sticker or spirit or whatever would deconfirm anything. Like if there was a sticker in Brawl I don't think that would deconfirm anything, especially since what I think all the stickers were is just characters they did not have the time to get to and make assist trophies, basically. Yeah. And I think they still I mean, want them in the game to get people to be like, yo, my character's still here. Like, even if they're not, you know, a main fighter, they're still in the game. Yeah, I, I get it. I, I just don't agree with that because, well, to be fair, I'm actually sort of helping your case here, but in Smash 4 with the whole Lucas trophy, there was a Mewtwo one as well. They ended up being characters, but as of now, we've already had one Fighters Pass, and yet none of those spirit characters have been revived. That Again, I think it could change, but for now, until it's proven that the characters can, in fact, be in the game, like the spirit characters can be in the game, I think they did confirm just well, because of the way spirits work, I messed around a lot with spirits, and even like, I 100% of the game and everything. So I know a good amount of the, the spirits that are in there, but essentially like, you get spirits for clearing classic mode, kind of like when you beat classic mode in the past, you got a trophy for that character. They don't do anything. They're just there for collectibles, but then all the other characters, you know, they have a function. Yeah, I, we, I think most of us know how spirits work, but I, what I'm trying to say is, like, the dev time hasn't really been put in as much, and they were really put in to include them in the game. And here's the thing, Fighter Pass 1 was mostly known as development was, like, finished. Like, I, I think they said that somewhere, didn't they? That, like, they knew the first fighters initially. Yeah. Like, technically six if you count Prana Plant, but he's he's like a special case. It's more of just Sakurai saying fuck you to like the leakers. In my opinion, it might not be that way, but I, I think that was honestly what that was. Um, <laughs> but I think spirits don't deconfirm a character anymore because now we're in the stage of unplanned characters and i think spirits could potentially have been characters they were planning to implement but ran out of time to do i feel like that and they, too and they weren't until on the I list see it, until i see it i have my doubts well, that's they, the thing i'm not gonna put my hopes up or anything a lot of those fan favorite characters are spirits like the waddle d like like shantae like rayman things like that 
very popular characters are spirits and people think that they might not be in the game because of that and, and if we're talking about arms here which is the confirmed thing that is next unless i see like ribbon girl because she's one of the spirits like a lot of the popular arms characters i think there's three of them i think it's ribbon girl the, the ramen girl and the ninja guy they're, they're all spirits and unless one of them gets in as the arms rep i i'm still gonna think that uh well but this experience. isn't this isn't what you're gonna think post release is knowing will do you think one of them could be the arms rep is, is no. the question no so, because they're spirits well but in I'm, my opinion and, yeah so let's go so back to my opinion was the that the spirits are more like like i was saying they're the unplanned parts of well they're the planned parts of development that they didn't get to finish so like let's say right. an assist trophy they never finish or even maybe a character that they just never have the time to finish but i'm thinking that since that and the first dlc was planned that's why we haven't seen a repeat of a sticker but i think that now that they have the chance to do a character like this uh that those characters since they're more popular ones actually would have a more a decent chance of making it even though they're a sticker because i don't think a sticker was really like a high development thing and it wouldn't be too weird to see like a sticker of a character using something like if it was if it was an assist trophy of a character that like let's say let's say it was a villager assist trophy and then you had villager on screen it would confuse newer players or just less knowledgeable players and oh they yeah might for think sure that villager is some like weird special combo or ability even though it was an item so that's why like, like i think that's why they wouldn't want that is for mainly i mean a confusion and b like that's that's sort of pointless that assist trophy could have been anyone else but i think in the case of a spirit no one will care if some character has both the spirit and the character because Honestly, like now that the game's out and everything, no one really cares too much about spirits, to my knowledge. Other That's than about obviously, point. like like speedrunners using spirits in their speedrun and whatnot, but other than like the five people using them online, no one really cares about spirits, so no one would get mad. I think the main reason no one they've never done an assist trophy in the characters because that would be like, well, that assist trophy could have been my character, could have been. Well, let's, let's say Waluigi wasn't in, or like let's say there was like a Shrek thing like like it's like someone could just say my sister that sister we could have been shrek but now we have a, a third mario or whatever <laughs> right like that's that's already like the debate with echo fighters but i mean in that case it's it's more of just it's such an easy thing to develop that i feel like that's but, why they do that but here's the weird thing what what about like uh think of like Robin's Final Smash, which has Krom in it, and Krom is also his own fighter. Well, that's, that's what I'm so saying. That's why I'm saying stickers are definitely like a possibility of being a character because they don't really care if there's a PNG image of a character in the game. Well, that's I a perfect example. Meaning, like, since <laughs> Krom's both a character and in someone's Final Smash, that, in my opinion, eh. And he's a me costume. Validates, yeah, that, in my opinion, validates the possibility of a character being both so i feel like that already confirms like i said and it's I, within this I, game right i haven't seen it yet and i'm just like really personally with the first fighters pass other than banjo i didn't see too much interest that's just me so i'm just personally holding my hopes really like keeping my hopes back because i don't want to get disappointed uh i got banjo already so i should just be happy with what i have <laughs> that's my way of looking at things yeah, but I, I'm not. I'm not even talking about hope here. I'm just talking like logistics. I I don't think there'd be a reason for them not to include those characters, especially if they are actually the most popular characters. I don't. I've literally like have like a minute of arms playtime, and it was on one of your guys' switches. So like, I have no fucking clue what's popular in arms. So that's why I don't. It's really... not popular. No one wanted arms. <laughs> I think everyone no, got arms, arms because nothing was available at the time. But like, I don't not, mind not it because it's not a I don't mind game. It. The it's characters not... from the yeah. characters from arms the are characters cool from looking. Arms could oh. easily transition into this. I'm not denying it. It's perfect. Like it's it's not even a bad idea. I I like the creativity behind arms. I just don't like the gameplay. It's pretty boring. But yeah. Anyway, like I know we're already off topic, but I want to go off topic again. You mentioned or this is like completely unrelated to what we were just talking about, but. 
earlier you said like people like Shantae are in his stickers and stuff and you said that it sort of deconfirms them but i think the case with that is they they actually want only really main party like things to be characters because at the moment like what indie game has gone in as a character none no one none they've they've showed up in me costumes I mean, which are like borderline characters players. but those are those are not real if we're honest if we're being honest here those aren't characters they're not characters. No, you're right. I'm just saying that they. That's... It's it's more of just a cash grab where they're like, you know, these indie games are popular and uh, it's pretty easy to just add a little hat to a character. It's seventy five cents for a for it's, a hat. Yeah. See, but but when seventy five cents times a few million, eh, like two million people, that's that's still like two million bucks. Like that's a lot of money. That's, no, that's I, still... I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, but it's it's. It, I mean, yeah, they're gonna make you pay for it. They have to and model stuff the... like Shovel Knight and stuff are like, like literally in the game as like, um, what was I saying? Assistant no, I, I didn't say that as if I thought like Shantae would be in I'm the game. I'm not saying right? Shantae, but I'm just saying there hasn't been anything there... that isn't a mainline like company getting in as an actual character, and I I just don't see that happening. I don't think I know this is well, related to the original. Terry, topic, Terry's but... a bit odd. Like SNK, I don't really know much about it's, that. But it's it's by who's it by? Do you know like the company? SNK. I don't. Know. I don't. I, I think. Even, like, but I think they're more of an actual company rather than an indie one. If if I'm not mistaken, I'm sure, actually, I might I might be wrong, but I think they even though we personally don't know the games, I'm pretty sure they're actually more of like a like a triple A mainline company. I, I can see Shovel Knight getting in next game. If any ND characters getting in, it's Shovel Knight, but... Yeah, uh, for sure, because the, the assist trophy already does so much. They already have the model. And, uh, I, yeah, I don't think any other, in, like, Hollow Knight or Dante or anyone's gonna get in at all. Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight's just such a good game. Which is, yeah, oh, yeah. unrelated. <laughs> But, no, uh, I meant like in terms of the spirits that are there. I meant more along the lines of like the the Xenoblade Two protagonists. I don't really like them, but I know they're popular. There's uh. Well, I think in those in those terms, it's just basically since you mainly not always. I mean, obviously in the case of Fire Emblem, there's like eight characters, but most of the time there's only one to two characters per series. Other than obviously Mario because that's the big one, Pokemon because that's yet again a big one. But like other than the really big games better Nintendo. Uh, I mean, yeah. Like, first party. There hasn't really been more than one character. People constantly clamor for more rep. Like, Kirby, for example, is a relatively big franchise. Doesn't get that much. It, it has, it's only yeah. gone... It's gone here's, two... Here's the thing. Oh, three, actually. Meta Knight. Yeah, that's right. No, I meant, like, it, it received two during Brawl. Yeah. Uh, and one of the po more popular characters is also the Waddle Dee, and he's a spirit, too. Yeah, but I think Wallad is more of like I understand that there is like an actual playable version of Smash Flash 2 and like he could definitely have a character designed around him. But I, he, I just, he has like an entire moveset based off like that one game on the Wii. Yeah, but I I don't think it would make sense to add like cause, like cause Smash at this point, it's not like Brawl. Like in Brawl, sure if Smash was popular, but up until they added Sonic publicly, there wasn't really like that much hope for third party devs if that makes sense like non-nintendo reps getting in yeah that's sort of what annoys me i don't want any third parties personally i'm, I'm done with them well, yeah, because i don't really you're, you're just hardcore nintendo fanboy but like a lot of other people do want third parties and it would get a lot of people into smash so that's what nintendo would probably want but then those companies yeah, would have I know. to agree. And I don't know how many companies want their characters in this game. Although it could then again, it would serve both as advertisement for them and an extra couple sales for Nintendo. So it's, at this point, Smash is more of an advertisement thing. Cause like a lot oh, of people no. didn't- Oh, for sure. A lot of people didn't know what like, I don't, maybe not Earthbound, but like stuff like Solid Snake wasn't that popular. And oh, so Earthbound? Snake Why do you think I found Earthbound? I didn't know if you found it from Smash or not. I, <laughs> I definitely did. Are you the <laughs> right with their marketing schemes? Hell no. I would never have found that. Yeah, but I thought you might have found like a forum post or something. I don't know. Dude, I played Smash before I played Earthbound. Easy. Well, yeah, I know. I knew that much because Earthbound is a more niche game, and you weren't born with the. Glad I found it thanks to this. I mean, it's great. But, anyways, but back on track. 
Uh, like, but but I think they would. I I don't think they'd want to. I understand but they've by already that logic, added. I know they've already added logic. like Fire Emblem DLC that like no one asked for and <laughs> we didn't need more reps for. Uh, Agreed. But I I do think at this point now that because those were planned characters, so that I think that Fire Emblem character is just something they weren't able to add in time that was actually going to be part of the base game. Also, because the, the the new game that Violet's from came out after Smash came out. Yeah, so that's probably it's probably yet again another marketing ploy by Nintendo, which is yeah, you know, I can't blame them. <laughs> but yeah, I I think that um, no, nope, as you're try saying, to expand and get more. We keep saying a lot of things here. about we keep saying a lot of things about third parties being more likely, and like I agree with you because of the whole marketing thing. And a lot of those spirit characters are characters that are basically Nintendo characters, like the Waddle Dee, there's Captain Toad, there's the yeah. Rex and Pirate. And I don't, I don't think they're going to add any more Nintendo characters from series that aren't, that have reps. But uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're definitely, A, we're getting off topic, and B, we're out of time. So make sure to comment below uh, your opinion on whether or not this will happen. Also, make sure you... Give us some more questions because we're still running out of questions for the next episode. And uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one.